A few months ago, we took a deep dive into the world of 3D printed settle from AliExpress. We compared them against the renowned FreeSafe adoptive settle, like this, which sparked a lot of discussion among our viewers. However, many of you pointed out it wasn't a quite a fair comparison. You suggested we should take a closer look of the FreeSafe type settle available on AliExpress and compare it against the real deal. Your feedback definitely intrigued me, and I couldn't resist diving into AliExpress to find out this more. And here I am today, I bought both of these settles right here, and I'm gonna focus on the AliExpress settle. We'll examine its every aspect from physical property, material to, to the user experience. And finally, respond to the user question, are these AliExpress FreeSafe settle really 90% similar to the genuine at FreeSafe adoptives? Now, before we dive deeper into the comparison, it's crucial to acknowledge an important aspect of this AliExpress FreeSafe type settle I'll be examining today is without a doubt 100% a counterfeit product because I verified this with the seller. And this is not an official licensed product and authorized from FreeSeq at all. In fact, it is a clear violation of FreeSeq intellectual property rights and branding. Now, it is crucial for us to address the issue responsibly and emphasis that we do not condone or support production, distribution, purchasing of these counterfeit goods. My intention here is to shed the light on the differences between the Ali version and the genuine FreeSeq product to help you to make an informed decision as an informed cyclist. As promised, I'll be comparing this to the genuine physique adoptive, starting with these physical attributes. When I put the AliExpress settle back to back with the genuine physique version, the width, the length, the height all seems to match up with the specification from the website. So it seems that the physical dimension is actually indeed a close copy. On the visual inspection, the shell and the rail from the AliExpress setup are both made from carbon material, and its quality seems reasonable at the first glance. However, upon closer examination, I noticed the space between the rail is slightly tighter than the seat clamp compared to the general physics setup, and I managed to fit it into my bike without any major problem. Hey, but there is something that worth to notice and get interesting. You see? As soon as I put weight on the saddle, I noticed something unusual. It creaks. In fact, it creaks a lot. Now, I have tried various different versions of saddles from different brands, including AliExpress as well. I have never encountered this level of creaking noise. And to be honest, this is not something I would expect from any saddle. Another thing that caught my attention is weight. The AliExpress FreeSafe type versions weigh about 200 grams which is notably heavier than the 168 grams that's from the original FreeSeq setup it was designed to be. I can't quite pinpoint the reason for the discrepancy, but it's worth noting of this. And now, moving on to the 3D printer pattern. It does have a similar structure to the genuine FreeSeq setup. The inner support structure appears to be identical, with the back of the setup being a softer and the seat bone area a lot firmer to support the rider's weight. It provides a similar transition throughout the settle, and again, it is a very close copy from the genuine physics set. I think it might be using the same mold to create the padding. However, there is one noticeable difference between them, and that is a glossy coating on the AliExpress version. Now, it might not be easy to spot through the camera, but as soon as I open the package, I could tell the difference. The glossy coating creates a much higher friction surface it makes a comfortable experience with sitting on it for an extended period of time. Now, this is a good segue to talk about the user experience in a minute. But before we continue, I would like to remind you to hit the like button and share this video with fellow cyclists. Spreading awareness about a reality of buying a counterfeit product can help protect the cycling community and ensure a thriving marketplace for innovative products. Let's unpack the user experience for the AliExpress FreeSeq type setup. And to be frank, my experience with this setup was rather limited. I only used it for about 2 hours before I couldn't bear to use it anymore. The main issue that I encounter is related to the friction is by this padded material. As you see, as a cyclist myself, 
I tend to shift my body position on the saddle during a different riding scenario. So for example, when I'm performing a brake or descending at a speed, I tend to shift my body back to have a better control of the bike. And on the other hand, I'm on the drop and when I do an aggressive sprinting position, I tend to shift my body forward. However, with the AliExpress saddle, the friction caused by the pedal material was so significant that I struggled to address my riding position unless I completely stood myself up. This limitation seriously affects my control and overall comfort on the bike. And let me show you the bit after the ride. Take a look at the fabric. You can see it is completely stretched on the contact points with the padding. This excessive friction not only creates discomfort but also raises concern about the long-term durability of my cycling bits. If I were to continue to use this saddle, I would likely to invest in new bib much sooner than expected. Additionally, I noticed the shell of this AliExpress saddle flex much less than the general physics saddle. Now some rider might prefer a stiffer shell for added support and power transfer. However, personally, I appreciate a slight flex on the genuine 36 saddle and it helped absorb a lot of harshness from the road and enhance the overall comfort in the long run. It is quite amused that the AliExpress 36 type saddle is 90% close to the genuine 36 product in terms of appearance and yet it fell significantly short of delivering a satisfactory experience. With that said, there is only two options for the fate of this saddle. It's either ended up in my bin or I'm trying to return it to the AliExpress seller. This is definitely not a saddle I would recommend it for riding. As you watch this video, I hope you realize choosing a saddle shouldn't just be based on its price. It should consider the quality, the durability and overall performance that a genuine product can provide to you. And remember, not all the saddles are created equal. Thank you for joining me of this eye-opening comparison of the AliExpress Physic Touch saddle and the genuine Physic Adoptive. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insight helping you to make a more informative decision when it comes to your next cycling purchase. And as always, keep on pedaling. See you next time.